Across New South Wales, a revolt against the Baird government is growing. But last night at Marrickville Council Chambers, the insurgency took a giant step forward. Three democratically elected councils opposed to the West Connex project have been sacked. Well, what we are seeing behind us in this building is an installed dictator acting as he claims, on behalf of the community, but in fact, he's acting on his own behalf. Queensling! First of all, they tried to undermine the Planning Act. When the community fought back, they've got rid of the councils. We need to stand together and fight against the West Connects and urban growth plans for uh, the inner city communities. Um, but also, you need to stand with the people of St Peter's, I've been there all day today, uh, this morning, um, people brought in from Queensland, a company called ACOM, not one that's familiar to everybody, but ACOM is the company that's done the EISs for the M4 and M5. Overseas, they were paid secret commissions by the Macquarie Bank in order to ramp up toll roads in the United States that eventually went broke, and today they're flown in to set up drilling sites for the M4, M5 at St. Peter's. This is all about hidden power. It's not about accountable power. They've got rid of every vestige in local councils of accountable power. little mascot who comes along with me as well. Look, as we we're hearing from all the speakers tonight, what's about to happen in the building behind us is an absolute travesty. We've seen Mike Baird has swept aside elected councils, the people that we voted for, and put in place an unelected stooge that he's handpicked himself exactly right. with a history. who was, as Wendy was saying, a very senior person within the New South Wales Planning Department when the first stages of West Connects were being waved through. Um, and there's no doubt that Baird has done this so that he can keep trying to bulldoze West Connects through our communities and keep selling all of us, not just here in the inner west, but also right families out in western Sydney, right. out to toll road operators right. and his mates in big business. Because we all know that they are the only ones who are going to benefit from the West Connects toll road if it is built. But I'd like to uh, let you know what uh, our mate, Mr Pearson, thinks. He put out a press release uh, late last week responding to the story suggesting that uh, Facebook posts opposing West Connects on Marrickville Council had been removed uh, and following our meeting as Jamie Parker, the Greens member for Balmain outlined where he refused to uh, confirm that he would maintain the Council's opposition to West Connects. And um, he then put out a media release, and I think this is probably my all-time favourite line. He said, I believe that my experience with the state government will in fact help me to make our voice even stronger. And who is we? I would like to suggest to uh, the administrator of this new completely illegitimate Inner West Council that our community voice in this area is pretty strong already. We don't need
But I think what tonight is demonstrating is that this so-called Inner West Council will be ungovernable. That this Inner West Council won't work. And that we should not leave yet. Let's get a few speakers. We've got the three former mayors here. And can I have all the councillors as well? Let's have all the councillors. The truth is, this is a government unlike any other in New South Wales' history. Because Mike Baird isn't interested in re-election. All he's really concerned with is to lock in for his corporate backers as many West Connex contracts as possible and as much high-rise redevelopment as the developers want. 